Hi guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and today I'm bringing you some Nintendo Land gameplay on the Nintendo Wii U. I'm going to be doing some solo gameplay on the Legend of Zelda Battle Quest, and I'm going to be using the bow and arrow rather than the sword and shield. And like I said, this is solo play. Now, when you use the bow and arrow, you actually use the Wii U gamepad, however, it's a nightmare to film because you need to manoeuvre the gamepad up, down, left and right to change your camera angle, so that's why I'm recording a direct feed of the TV screen. So, yep, we're going to do some bow and arrow gameplay and I will be bringing you some solo sword and shield gameplay as well, but for now you can just enjoy the bow and arrow awesomeness. <laughs> so I do actually quite like the controls of this. You need to use the left analog to turn, um, you need to move the Wii U gamepad up, down, left and right um, to change your camera and you need to pull back on the right stick to shoot an arrow and the longer you actually hold the stick back for the more powerful your arrow will be. So it's telling me to look at the gamepad now and uh, we're going to start. So you can see that my arrow, uh, my bow and arrow is lifting up and down which is me moving the gamepad up and down and obviously when I move left and right that's me moving the left stick left and right. So you can see that I'm pretty much uh, powering up my charge as much as I can to take out these enemies pretty quickly. It's not really very challenging to, be, uh, to begin with, but it does get challenging later on because it does tend to throw a lot of uh, enemies at you. Okay, I've just run out of arrows there, which is the next subject I want to uh, talk about. You do run out of arrows, and to refill them, you need to uh, push... Um, Sorry, uh, move your Wii U gamepad down and it will refill your arrows and the further down you do that the more arrows that we will refill so it's probably better to just make sure you move your gamepad all the way down so that all your arrows will refill which you can see in the top right hand corner of the screen see how many um, gems I've collected and also how much life I've got in the bottom left hand of the screen It's actually a really enjoyable Nintendo Land attraction. Um, me and my boyfriend have enjoyed playing on it. We've played it for quite a bit. Like I said, it does get hard, so I've actually not completed this attraction yet. And Nintendo Land in general actually has a lot of gameplay hours that you can end up putting into it because certain attractions do have a heck of a lot of levels. Um, so you can find yourself just getting immersed in this game. Totally missed him then. pretty much take out these enemies with one shot if you charge up your bow. Obviously there is um, there are bosses on this as well, this attraction. But I'm actually not very far on this attraction, so um, I've only fought one boss so far. So I don't know how much harder the bosses do get, but the gameplay does get challenging. Um, and it's definitely a game for multiplayer, because you do actually get swarms of enemies. So, But it's fun. It's definitely a cool attraction, probably one of my more favourite attractions on Nintendo Land, along with Pikmin Adventure. Yay, I 
I got the Triforce. So I lost three hearts, so that's pretty abysmal. <laughs> Beating 34 enemies and got a hit combo with 15. And you can see that it takes various different in-game screenshots of you playing. And here are just some comments um, that other people have written about the game. Um, I can actually post a comment if I want by clicking on that little speech bubble, but I'm not going to on this video. So yeah, that was just a short video showing you some solo play um, with the bow and arrow on the Legend of Zelda Battle Quest. I will be bringing you some sword and shield gameplay, so stay tuned for that. And you've been watching Gadget Girl Kylie. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time, guys.